I felt a little strange, I have to say, interviewing State of Shock, and Erin was sitting off to the side. Yeah. Because she does the entertainment interviews, and I'm like, I don't know. I, I wanted you to come over and help me. But come on, you did fine. You know your entertainment. I don't. So well, I watched you're, the, and you're a rocker at heart. I, I a little bit of a rocker <laughs> yeah, at heart. Yeah, I've got a lot, I've got extra hairspray in the back there. Yeah, you do. <laughs> um, <laughs> party in the party in the back. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Business, Business up, up front. front. <laughs> so the Emmys were last night. Speaking mm -hmm. of, did you guys watch? Uh, no. A little bit of the red carpet. Yeah, I watched <laughs> the other pieces don't, as well. Don't I actually tell me. watched the whole but thing. Can you, you believe did? it? Well, it was wow. one of the more entertaining um, over the last few years. Wow. I think Jane Lynch did a really great job did, hosting. Yeah. And yes, the Emmy Awards took place last night in Los Angeles. And by all accounts, pretty great night. The layered, detailed period drama Mad Men was definitely the big winner, winning its fourth consecutive Emmy for Outstanding Drama Series. But the 60s show about Madison See, Avenue advertisers has yet to win a single uh, Emmy for its right. acting. Kind of strange considering mm. it cleans up everywhere else. The acting awards instead went to Golden Globe winner Juliana Margulies for her excellent work in The Good Wife. And no one was more surprised than winner Kyle Chandler, who took home an award for the now-canceled Friday Night Lights. Good. Congratulations. He's great. The hilarious Modern Family, my favorite show on TV, mm -hmm. won a total of five awards as it was named TV's outstanding comedy series for a second straight year. And as we mentioned, Jane Lynch was a clever and cool host, poking fun at everyone from Tom Cruise to the Jersey Shore peeps. I thought, yeah, I thought she was really good. She's great. She's a funny lady, man. And I was I met her in person, and she is oh, nonstop. Yeah. Oh, she's exactly the she's same. She's funny in person. Funny That's in person. Mm -hmm. I was surprised Charlie Sheen didn't... Fly off the handle. I know he a nice heartfelt apology, although I think it was a little ironic. I, I don't know if it was completely heartfelt, but no, you know I don't he think didn't. So. Was he not nominated? I don't think so. Okay. His oh, roast is because it was his roast down. is yeah his roast is tonight. That should be okay. interesting. Oh, we should have talked about that. Well, maybe later. Okay. Hawaii right. Five O. Hawaii Five O. Now this is a show that may not have won any Emmys last night, but the hugely popular action series returns tonight to Global with an explosive season two premiere. Ooh. Last season ended with our hero Steve McGarrett charged and incarcerated for the murder of the governor, and the rest of the Hawaii Five O squad disbanded. Now you probably don't want me to ruin it for you. You want to watch it tonight, but I can tell you that Alex Olaf and the rest of the team are very glad to be back. I love what we're doing on the show. I kind of, in the, in the, we don't get that much time off, but when I have time off, you know, the people here are great. You know, mm. I've made so many great friends here. And they're very, as an Australian, I feel more comfortable here than I ever did in Los Angeles. He's staring at him. No, look at me. I'm listening. <laughs> right. I'm listening. Well, you're I'm nodding. Not, not, no, I'm lost in his eyes. <laughs> yeah, I would have totally lost yeah. his eyes. Why did you pay attention? And I did ask him at one point to take off his shirt, but you'll have to watch ET Canada tonight to find out more did about he? that. That's a girl, Eric. Oh, you'll have to tune in, oh, Sophie. Boy. Okay. Now, uh, this Friday evening, one of Vancouver's hottest fashion designers teamed up with the Kelowna Firefighters Association for Fire and Fashion. The event was co hosted by yours truly, and held in Kelowna's historic Laurel Building. The night included a very, very sexy runway show featuring Jason Matlow's new fall and spring line. It also, look at that stuff. Oh, his fashion is so gorgeous. Now, it also featured R and, uh, performances from R&D Diva, Rosette Love, and close to $30,000 was raised for the BC Professional Firefighters Burn Fund. Congratulations to everyone. <laughs> At Fire and Fashion, it was oh, honestly, it cool. was like something out of uh, New York Fashion Week or Toronto Fashion Week, but it took place in downtown Kelowna. That Very looks cool. like something wow. Beyonce would wear. Well, <laughs> yeah. that's actually, I introduced her and I said, Beyonce, watch out. Oh, I'm serious. Watch out. I went to high school with her. Oh, you did? We, we were friends in high school, no. Rosette and I. She's fabulous. She is. She's always been fabulous. That's like, that's that was her in high school. Like, she hasn't changed a bit. Oh, She's okay. going places. That's so good to hear. Do you, so, you congratulations think you to everyone involved. pretty fabulous as well. Ah, uh, that was nice. Yeah. You like that dress? That was also a Jason Matlow original. Original, you could have one custom made for you. Just like that. That would look wonderful <laughs> on you, Mark. That dress you were wearing? That's the one I was telling you about. I love Gorgeous. that dress. That's also a Jason Matlow. Jason, and, call you me. Know, pretty <laughs> sassy stuff. I don't know if I can squeeze into that, though. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, Heidi. All right, thank you very much, Aaron. And thank, thank you, you for joining it. us this morning. I think we're just about out of time. We are. Have a great day. Bye-bye.